Hi, this is attorney Roy Oppenheim again. I'm, I'm here to talk today about what we can expect from the impact of the collapse of the Surfside condominium, the Champlain South uh, condominium uh, that occurred over the past few weeks. And, and of course our hearts go out to everyone uh, that has suffered a loss and, uh, and, and it's just been very tragic. We, we as a firm uh, have friends of friends who, who were in the building and it's just a, a very, very tragic loss. But I think to some extent, in my mind, this is a little bit like a Hindenburg moment in the South Florida condominium real estate market, especially the, the older buildings. And what I'm saying is, is that many of these buildings uh, have not uh, been properly maintained. They don't have the proper reserves. Um, over the years, the, the condo unit owners have, have stubbornly resisted uh, paying for assessments that the board of directors and management and advisors have, have, have suggested or required these buildings to do. And, and this is a consequence of, of what you have of, of when you have compounded neglect. And I'm just not sure if the condominium organizational structure, maybe even the co-op organizational structure is going to work where you're going to have assessments sometimes as much as 80, 100, or $200,000. There are professional management companies and engineers that have suggested that at the Champlain uh, uh, condominium that the assessments should have been somewhere totaling 80 to $200,000 per unit. And of course, that's almost an impossible amount, especially if someone only paid $300,000 for their unit years ago. Many of them are retired, many are on fixed income. And so the problem is, how do you reconcile this gap of, of, manage, of, of, of maintaining a building with safety and security. Ultimately, what's going to happen is if in fact a building cannot raise the necessary money to uh, restore and, and rebuild and, and manage their, the, the safety of the building, those buildings will get condemned. And in fact, over the years, there have been a few buildings in Miami in particular, where the, the city and the county has come in and thrown everyone out of the building and um, basically determine that the building was was unsafe. And so it's gonna be very interesting to see how, um, as a community, we're going to be addressing these issues about condominiums that, that have serious, serious um, defects and, and require serious maintenance and whether or not the unit owners are gonna have the capacity and ability to raise those kind of funds. And so if you're gonna be buying or selling a condo in the future, you best have, have proper counsel and better be looking at the engineering reports, looking at the board of directors minutes uh, before you, you jump into these deals. And particularly realtors should be very concerned about what advice they're going to provide their, their clients uh, during this period of time. So if you have any questions, feel free to call me. Roy Oppenheim for Oppenheim Law in the trenches. Have a great day.